when I started writing up in the air, we were actually in an economic boom. Things were actually going pretty well, and I wrote it more as a satire. But the world changed, and uh, so my screenplay had to change too, and I had to handle, take things a little more seriously. I trust them to know what to do. I mean, I direct them. It's not as if they have, you know, complete free will, but I don't rehearse. I like to get their natural response to the dialogue on camera. I've always enjoyed travel. I think it's actually one of the few places anymore that we get to be alone and alone with our thoughts. So, I, actually, I get a lot of joy from walking through an airport, being on an airplane, meeting a stranger. Um, sometimes it's easier to talk to a stranger than it is to talk to someone that you know very well. Oh, I definitely feel surrounded rather than isolated. You know what, as a filmmaker I get a real healthy balance. When I'm writing, I'm alone in a room. When I'm directing, I'm out surrounded by a hundred people. Uh, when I'm promoting, I get to see the world. Uh, I feel very fortunate to do what I do. I, I, I like things to stay fresh and different, and as a director, every year I get to explore a new world. I, I just keep moving. I think it's dangerous to you know, uh, take stock a little too much because, you know, you become frozen and it becomes hard to make your next choice. So I always like to know what my next movie is. I, <laughs> I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm happily married. I'm a proud father. And in that sense, I think I am winning the game of life.